Hello guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to our vlog. Dito lang po yan sa Just Matilda. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to click subscribe and hit or press the bell button. So today is today's episode. I have something to tell you regarding about regarding my situation or regarding my status here of um, United States of America. Because 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 I receive a good news coming from Department of Homeland Security or in short USCIS. So I got another papers. I got another mail. I got another 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 documents came from them so you know what is this but before anything else before i show you guys um last october 28th i got an interview for my you for my american citizenship and thank god i did my best because i did it i did it i made it i passed my exam i passed my naturalization I pass my oral, I pass the rating exam, and I pass the, you know, the interview. So, it's not really difficult for me because I study well. I buy, I buy a book from the Amazon, and it's very, very, very uh, helpful for me, guys. You know, especially also if you are trying to do more practice in, the, in your cell phone and trying to listen an audio like that. Hold on. And if you are trying to listen an audio while you are working, it's very helpful, guys. That's what I do before I did my, you know, my interview for my American citizenship or naturalization. So now, because I did my interview, so and I have another good news. So this is all about my is new status, and this is my oath of ceremony. Yes, finally, I received now my oath of ceremony, guys. I'm very happy because uh, because it was very fast, you know. I can't I can't believe that because it's supposed to be like the duration. It's supposed to be like you know, um, I mean, my expectation is supposed to be like three months or two months. That's the that's the possible that mostly that we need to wait after our exam or after our interview for naturalization but mine was so quick was so was very fast because this is only this is it takes only for me like one one month and 11 days so one month and 11 days or we will let's say one month and 12 and uh, one month and two weeks yeah so pasensya na kayo medyo bilol a bulol yung pagka english ko i'm very sorry if my english is not good so wala kayong pakialam dahil hindi ka maganda okay so now this is it so finally this is a notice of naturalization of ceremony so i could tell this is the last one that i need to go that i need to that i need to be there so uh, my out of ceremony, guys, is December 18, 2020, Friday at 10 a.m. I'm very excited. Yes, this is finally, guys, finally. I, I believe this is the last one that I need to, to, that I need to attend. Because after this one, I will, I will, I will, because I changed legally my name. So I changed legally my name, guys. If you are asking, what did I do? My what did I do? My name? Why do I change? Please do comments. If you have a question, if there is a payment or whatever, I will tell you, guys. Please don't don't hesitate. I mean, don't shy to comment and all your answer. I know all your question. I will try to answer it. Okay, because I am the only one also who did all my papers and I did not call the lawyers. Okay, me and my partner did my papers. Who did my papers? Okay. So notice of naturalization out of ceremony. So this is, I'm going to read of what is this, okay? So that also, guys, you will know because I know some of you are very excited even though you have no yet your interview of naturalization even though that you are you are now like step by step for a while. You are not yet in your, you know, like interview or whatever. You have no schedule for that for a while. So because you are excited, guys, because you guys are very excited, now I am going to share of what is this inside of the of these papers. Okay. So notice of naturalization oath ceremony. 
So USCIS. So this is form in 445 because the other one is in 400. So the in 400 guys, the in 400 is very important that you need to fill up because because the officer those are the those are the papers that he wants to use it during the interview they will ask you more question the question the question guys is very simple only if you know of what have you written here or what have you write here that's why it's very important that you need also to i mean try to memorize or it is better that you are the one who will do your papers you're in 400 so that during the interview you will know what the officer will ask you like for example question like for example um uh, like for example when is um like for example hold on in the last five years so let's say your recent one when do you live oh. It's very important also guys that you need to answer because the of they cannot de you cannot deny it because you will put that one on your in 400 so that's why also even though like a numbers even though if you live in apartment or a condo you need to write it correctly because if not because if not the I mean it's not really a big deal but it's it's very important that that you will know of how what you read in here so that the officer will know ah okay so you know the so that it's not annoyed so that the officer will no more question a lot that's the secret okay if the officer will ask you the question regarding your in 400 please make it sure that you can answer it like for example if if you cannot memorize try to try to uh, no, try to come only or you can tell to the officer that you can tell to the officer that May I beg your pardon again of what is the question so that, you know, you can remember. Because that's what I did during my interview. So that's why I passed. Uh. Okay, so notice of naturalization of ceremony. So again, guys, this is N445 because the N400 is those are your form during your application. Those N400 is the application for naturalization so that you will have an interview. After this one, if you will pass, you can have this, okay? Okay, and then they said U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. Thanks, thanks for your interest in becoming a United States citizen. You must now appear at a naturalization out ceremony to complete the naturalization process. So I need to attend this one because they said that to complete the, notar the, not the, the naturalization process. <laughs> Alam mo na. And also, guys, I want also to read here so that also you will know because right now we still have like a COVID-19 so that also you will know what they read in here, okay? And they say, this is, this, uh, they say, uh, you are scheduled to appear for a naturalization out ceremony on December 18, 2020, 10 a.m. Friday, location at the downtown. Um, because I am expecting is, um, because I am expecting is where I got my interview for naturaliz for my naturalization. I thought those are also that that I will do my oath of ceremony. But no, this one is different, which is cool because this is very close where I am live right now. Okay, this one they say that please bring the following with you. This notice with the reverse the reverse side completed. Please refer to instruction below. All permanent residence cards, green cards that you may have valid or expired, all re-entry permits or refugee travel, documents that you may have valid or expire, any other documents USCIS issued to you that you may have such as employment authorization cards valid or expire. So guys, they say that because I still have a permanent residence. So I got two permanent residence, the five years and the two years, I think, or the three years. The first one is when I was in Colorado and the second one is where I am live right now. Okay. And so I need to bring those expired or not expired. I need to bring those one. All re-entry permits to re or refugee travel documents that you may have valid or expired. I have no that one because I'm not that one, okay? And any other documents USCIS issued to you that you have such an employment authorization 
I don't have that one because I came here for Q1 or PNC. So I have no this one. But if you have like this, please bring. Okay, so what I need to bring only is the permanent residence only. That's all. And if you are asking also guys about the passport, we will, we will, I know that one, we will read here. We will, I will tell you here. If you are ill, have any symptoms of illness, have traveled outside the United States within the past two weeks or had contact with a person who tested positive for COVID-19 within the past two weeks or at the heightened risk due to age or underlying health condition called the U.S. citizenship, blah, 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 blah like that. Okay, this is uh, the safety, I uh, no, no, this is for the safety precaution to ensure the health and safety of all who enter USCIS offices, you must take the following safety precaution when arriving for your ceremony. So do not arrive more than 30 minutes prior to your ceremony time. Ano, prior, to your, prior to your ceremony time, you will not be permitted entry in the office until 30 minutes before you before your ceremony tara talaga ng english ko ay you and anyone permitted to come with you to your ceremony as explained in the section what should come with you below must bring a black black or blue pink kasi because ano guys i need something to signature there dahil because i do change my name that's why okay who should come with you if you do not speak english fluently you may have an interpreter available via phone. If you need a sign language interpreter or certified deaf interpreter, call the USCIS call contact center, like blah, 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 like that. So, and also guys, I they have also something here I will show you. So this is the, what is this? This is the page four because they said I need to bring the page four. You must bring the completed the completed questionnaire on page four with you. Okay, so this is it, guys. So they ask a lot of question here. PR not PRC not collected. Provide reason. Card was lost, stolen. Blah blah blah, like that. And they have a lot of question here. Soon, guys, I will. I know. And they said I certified under penalty or of perjury. Perjury that each answer provided below. And provided above was made by me or at my decision that I review and understand of all the questions and answer provided that the and that each answer is true and correct as of the date of my naturalization of ceremony. So interpreters full name if you have interpreters mailing address if you have interpreters contact information guys if you have an interpreter certification if you have but me is I have no like that so I just need only this one in the first in the first page okay in the first page so a lot of a lot also of people asking how long it takes after your interview mine is mine is i filed july 13 and then they received my later hold on i will show you just to make it sure guys hold on Hold on, guys. Huh? So that also you will know of what will happen. Okay, I will show you here. Oh, because a lot of people asking how long it takes. What is the next? Okay, I will tell you because I have an account. Guys, make it sure you have an account. You can open it anytime. Account for your USCIS. Okay, now I am here. I am here. I am here. Okay, now I will tell you. So I will go to my case history. Okay, okay, on, on, on July 13, okay guys, on July 13, I file, 
and I when I receive my 10 years green card I file I I mean I apply immediately so I sent uh, ano so I I do on July 13 so they receive already that one and then August 7 I receive a uh, letter again or I receive uh, a mail from the USCIS and those are for the biometrics and they said my biometric before is they just want to use instead of to go there to the office to have another biometric. So they don't ha I don't have an interview during that time. That was August 7. On September 18, on September 18, I received another news. They said that the, in my interview was scheduled. So that is October 28, 2020. And then... To November 30, I received a mail. They said, oath ceremony is scheduled. So this is it. They gave me December 18, 2020. It's very fast only, guys. I'm very, very happy. Very fast for me. I believe New York, Chicago, um, somewhere like in a big city. I, I know it takes a lot of time. But here where I am live right now is not very, I know, not very, very takes long time. For me, I think it's ano only. It's like a one month only and one month only and two weeks. That's all. So congratulations for me, guys, because I am done already all my documents because I'm tired. It takes a lot of time, you know. I know that some people, oh my god, I I need something to do of this. Oh my god, like that. But it's okay, guys, because this is only for us. Uh, because this is also for us. This is a good benefit for us. So I'm gonna attend my out of ceremony guys on December 18th. I'm very excited. I hope you guys you can have this coming week or before this end. Okay. If you have a question, guys, of what they asked me during my interview, you can you can I know you can try just try to scroll my video because I have an interview there. I have a video during my interview. And I will if you have a question also how long it takes for blah blah blah, please do not forget to comment it and I will try to answer. Okay, guys. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I'm very happy for my this one. Thank you.